Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. If you have never been to our channel before, we are all about the food. We do taste tests, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner and recipes. And so we're kicking off another week and um, tonight is just, well the plan was for it to just be a simple night. I was gonna use some stuff that we had in our freezer. So I was really excited to try this Benihana Japanese steakhouse, steakhouse hibachi chicken rice. There is the picture. I picked this up from Kroger and microwaved it and this is what it looks like. And I was really excited to eat it because I do not like peas and it's very rare to find, um, you know, like a rice, frozen rice dish without peas in it. So this just had the onions, eggs, carrots, and chicken. If you look on the picture, it doesn't look like it has a ton of carrots, but when you look in the bowl, there are nothing but carrots in there and it just has a weird taste. I didn't like it at all. My husband tried it, he said it was okay. And so he's actually going to eat this tonight instead of me because I just didn't like it at all. So I decided to eat something else that we had in the freezer, which is this by Chef Jen. It's a shrimp mac and cheese made with white cheddar. You look at the box, it looks so good. And I actually tried her um, shrimp fettuccine the other week and it was really good. I showed it in what's in one of our what's for dinner videos. It was really good so I thought this would be just as good because I bought them both at the same time, microwaved it, and this is what it looks like. It is very watery and soupy. It never set up. I mean it's just like macaroni soup. So super disappointed. It tastes okay but literally, I mean, it is so soupy. And then um, I made some garlic bread to go with the shrimp and cheese macaroni. Here it is. And this is usually always the winner, so I was really happy with this. So there's a Texas toast. And so what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight is this garlic bread and the macaroni soup. Howard's gonna have this subpar hibachi chicken fried rice. It's just one of those nights, you know, just one of those nights when it seems like dinner just doesn't turn out right. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, I was going to stir fry some um, broccoli to go with the hibachi rice, which is what I was planning on having for dinner originally. And then I opened up the broccoli, fresh broccoli, and the broccoli was molded, so I had to throw that away. So anyway, it's just been a disaster of a dinner night. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. See you guys next time. Hey guys, I just wanna show you what we're having for dinner. Um, we are having breakfast for dinner. I made jumbo blueberry muffins, turkey sausage, and scrambled eggs. So the blueberry muffin mix is this. I think it's crusties. I've heard people pronounce it different ways, but this is what we're having. And we're having turkey sausage, which is from Jimmy Dean. And I'm normally not a big turkey meat fan. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that, but I found this on sale at the 99 cent store and so I jumped on it and I tasted it and it's pretty good. Um, it doesn't taste like pork of course, but it really doesn't taste like turkey either. So it has a good flavor. It's not dry at all and I like it. So I think I have another one in the freezer. You get 12 in here, but I made um, six of them, three for me, three for Howard. And then for the scrambled eggs, I just um, added mozzarella cheese. Normally I do my savory scrambled eggs with French fried onions and, <clears throat> excuse me, I just didn't feel like doing that today. So this is what we're having for dinner. And you know, I felt kind of bad about the dinner video I posted yesterday. I was kind of being a negative Nelly and complaining. I was just having a moment. I, you know, I am really, grateful that we do have food to eat, but uh, I was just having a bad day. So anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. 
Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled hamburgers, or cheeseburgers, I should say. And I um, toasted my bun in a skillet on the stove and a little bit of butter, because I love a toasted bun for my cheeseburger. And all I have on mine is just cheese. I'm just a plain cheese person. And to season my ground beef, I used this Lipton onion soup mix. And then we are finishing off the baked beans that we had in the refrigerator. For me, there's nothing better than a grilled charcoal hamburger. Howard and I have a big debate. He likes his gas grill. I prefer my good old cheap um, charcoal grill. And uh, he'd hate to admit it, but I think he does like the charcoal grill burger better. He's laughing in the background. You probably can't hear him. Anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. We'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a skillet pasta dish. Let me show you. So I'm still trying to use stuff that I have in the pantry, and this is one of the things that I had in the pantry. It is from Red Fork. It is a 10 clove garlic pasta skillet sauce. Whew, that was a lot to say. Cooks in 20 minutes, and so it comes with the sauce. And all you do is add dry pasta, Italian sausage, mushrooms, which I didn't have, so I didn't add them, and um, heavy cream. So here is what the finished product looks like, and it's pretty good. As you can see, we put the Italian sausage in there, and all the other herbs that you see in there and spices came in the um, sauce mix, and it's pretty good. It is kind of tangy, and you could definitely taste the garlic. And then we are having garlic bread. So we had hamburgers earlier this week, and we have some extra buns, and so that is what I use tonight for garlic bread. So I just opened up the hamburger bun, and then inside of the hamburger bun, I used this roasted garlic and herb butter spread from Trader Joe's. And then I also had some shredded Parmesan cheese in the refrigerator. So I sprinkled a little bit of that on top of it. And so um, this is our garlic bread, trying to use what we've got. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, just wanna show you what we're having for dinner tonight. We are having a crunchy Asian coleslaw, and it is really good. And I did film this um, as a cook with me video. It's a recipe that will be coming up pretty soon, but this has um, cabbage and green onions, almonds, and sesame seeds, and it is really, really good. So anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and I'll see you guys next time.